Hey, how are you doing Johnson Electric? This is Daniel Schmeling. I will be doing a quick tutorial on how to use Cisco Jabber. Uh, first, we want to find the software. Um, you just click on your start menu and you type in Cisco um, Jabber, or you can just type in Cisco, and you should see the, the software installed. If the software is not installed when you type in Cisco, you'll need to put in a service disk ticket and we can, we can help you. Um, Next, you'll get logged in. Your username should be firstname.lastname at johnsonelectric.com. Or if you previously had Cisco Jabber for video, your name may be in my format as well. This is because the company that gave us the Cisco Jabber for video accounts, and then let me see if I could show you that. I'm not sure. There it is. It says Cisco Jabber for video. That's a different account. As you can see here, my name was Daniel Dotschmelling at johnsonelectric.com. So it used that same name. So the Cisco Jabber that came out, if you had that Jabber for video, they shortened your name uh, like this because they couldn't have you have the same exact accounts. If you had Polycom in the past, you should just use first name dot last name at johnsonelectric. You click continue, it should find the services. You then type in your password. All right, for your password, if you don't have your password and you've transferred over, Polycom, Polycom and Cisco Jabber for Video should have automatically transferred over and you should have received an email for your password. If you haven't, simply put in a service desk ticket and we'll get that for you. Okay, now what comes up is this, this prompt box. And what this does is, if you put in your password, it allows your Lotus Notes calendar to be synced with your Cisco Jabber client account, right? So my calendar here, right, is now synced to Lotus Notes. And that's all that's doing for me. Okay, so this is my Jabber client, right? I can get to it by clicking up here, or I can click down here, right? Um, but one more thing I want to do is talk about troubleshooting of signing in. There is on the J drive, the J drive is just a shortcut to all the drives in the region. You double click on that. There is an IT help. Double click on that, and there's a video conferencing. You can go to these manuals right here that will assist um, if you should get lost or get confused or my video stinks, whatever the case may be. Um, but in this, there is a user manual, and it tells you that if you need to change your password, you go to this website. And it may be in the other document. I think it is. Yep. So that was a good little script of that, that one. Here's the other. This is the other, the, v, the, uh, sys, the Jabber and Lounge user guide. And in there, it says to change your password. You click this link. Currently, right now, there is something wrong with this link. So I ask you not to use it, but future you will. For now, all you need to do is you need to, you can Google this too, just support Visions Connected, right? If you just Google support Visions Connected, their web page should come up, right? And there is a support, right? It tells you you can either call, you can send an email, or you can fill out this form. My preference is you fill out an email to them and CC me and one of the IT team or CC the IT team with that. But so if you need to change your password, simply... Go to this support, email this support um, address, CC one of us so we could follow up, and they should have your password uh, changed or any other issue that you may experience. Okay, so back to the, the client. Um, this is the Jabber client. Obviously, you have some items on the left here. Contacts, if I want to add a contact, all I have to do is type in the contact name, right? Right, and if I hover over that, I just click the plus. 
and then adds it as a, as a contact, okay? I just click that and I can make it a new group, um, but that's all I have to do, right? If I wanna call a room, I just type a search that's similar, right? Springfield Mobile, Springfield Room Base, and I just click the, the call. The benefit to this system now is that there is no more Polycom, Cisco Jabber for Video, Room, how do I do this? It's all integrated, right? So that's, that's one of the great features here, okay? So to make a call, I can either search for the person, right? Or I can simply click on the link and it will call for me, okay? Let's say I, when I close this, I'm still open down here, right? I'm still there, I'm still up here. Well, let's say I wanna sign out for the day. I simply click on the gear and click sign out, okay? This client will not work on the VPN. It will never work on the VPN. No video clients will work on the VPN. What you need to do, uh, if you're going to use the VPN to make a call, is you have what's called a VC lounge, okay? I will show you the VC lounge in another video, but just know, if you connect to the VPN, this Jabber client will not work. If you need to call someone from a hotel room, don't connect to the VPN and sign in. It will sign in. It will sign in without, without being connected to the VPN, okay? So just know that. Um, so if you guys are watching and paying attention there, I did not use that johnsonelectric.com in that instance because it was cached, okay? You may have to use your full name or you may just simply have to use the you know, first name dot last name or first initial dot last name, and it does vary. The other thing I wanna show you is, let's say that you're having problems with your client, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and sign out. There's a reset jabber right here that is pretty helpful, right? Or let's say someone else needs to sign into your Jabber, but your name is there. You simply reset the Jabber, right? You press the reset button and you're good to go. So now what I need to do is get back signed in, right? So it's D Schmelling for me, right? It's D Schmelling because I did have a Cisco Jabber for video account before. Right, and I, let's say I want to sign in every time I log in. I can click that automatic sign in. So now every time I log in, it should save these credentials and log in. I don't like to do that because what if I change my password for my video client and then it locks me out? Well, I have to contact Visions Connected to help me out. You can, and remember, this is for email integration, right? Our calendar then works with our client. Say I want to send a chat. I could simply do it several ways. I could click here to chat, right? And I could send Lucas a chat, right? And it's off the screen here. So I just type and hit enter. Uh, I could call him afterwards, right? Or I could simply just close it, right? Okay, so we've covered the chat here, right? Covered contacts, we're gonna cover recents. Recents just lists your recent calls uh, previously. It's kind of self-explanatory, there's nothing really that, that we need to talk about, but when you have a call, you can simply click in recents and go there. Okay, I could use my computer for calls, uh, or I could forward it to a number. Um, this is not integrated with our phone systems, so I would, advise you to stay out of those and just keep in the uh, use for a computer. Um, I could change my setting to being away or do not disturb. And remember when I close it, it does not close. It stays minimized at the bottom here or up here, right? And I could even search from here. When I search for room, sometimes I like to search the word room because that helps me find the, the virtual rooms and then it's only showing one because I can only have so much. So now I know I need to search for JE virtual room. Right? And more will come up.
J virtual, right? And so there's the J virtual meeting rooms. But remember, folks, you have your own VC lounge. We're going to go over that in the next video. I'm going to tell you some features of the VC lounge and some things that you'll like and dislike. And remember, your VC lounge is what you can use over VPN. Your client is either at home, not connected to VPN, at a hotel, or in the plant. All right, thanks, folks.